All right, we've made it to Friday, and you know what that means? There is another Halloween Horror Nights original house announcement, what I believe to be the final original for this year's event here in Orlando. And why not end it off with a bang with an all new house concept? Today, Friday, May 24th at 10.33 a.m., of course, Triplets of Terror was announced for Halloween Horror Nights this year. Now, from what we know, this is an all new house concept which makes for about three pre-existing originals, originals based on stuff we know, like Monstros or Major Sweets or Slaughter Cinema, and three all new concepts, which I like this. I like that we're getting something brand new and it looks to be their original take on a slasher, which is something we have not seen in quite a long time. Usually when Horror Nights does slashers, it's of the Michael Myers or Leatherface variety, but this looks like their own sort of take on the slasher genre, and it looks like it's got a really interesting setting and set of characters. For that, we'll have to look to the description provided by Halloween Horror Nights. You're invited to the Barmy Triplets Birthday Bash. But beware, they celebrate by recreating their family's murders. Prepare for a gory gathering. Cutting over to the key art, we could see the sort of birthday party. We see the balloons in the background, and we get a good look of the triplets themselves. We see some crazy looking masks. I absolutely love these mask designs. I see the dude on the right is wearing like a paper plate carved into a mask. We see a bunny mask, we see what looks to be maybe a skull of some sort, maybe made of some other household item. We can see from the key art this is going to be very bloody, very gory. I could see this being maybe our gore house of the year. If not Monstros, definitely this one. And just from the picture alone, I'm getting a few different vibes here. For one, maybe this is just sort of a recency thing because of the new movie coming out. But this definitely reminds me of something like The Strangers, especially with the set of three masked killers going after us. Definitely getting big Strangers vibes, but also getting like big House of a Thousand Corpses vibes with the sort of masks and the attire and the gore here. Plus the family aspect does remind me of the Firefly family and their approach to murder. So generally all around I'm getting Universal's take on a House of a Thousand Corpses style idea here. And really that's all we have to go off of here, which I really, I'm honestly pretty excited about this. Honestly, I'm really curious to see what's in store for this house. I would really love them to do a podcast episode, maybe diving into the lore behind this family, behind these characters. Maybe don't give too much away because I feel like this house could be one of those ones that you want to go into with a clear mind, no prior information. But yeah, I think this is really interesting concept, really cool concept, one that might not be super hyped for a lot of other people, but definitely is piquing my interest when it comes to the originals for this year. In a year filled with house concepts that we may already be familiar with, or we may understand how they might play out, this house looks like a total wild card, and I think they're playing into that quite a bit. This looks to be the final original announced. I would be really shocked if they announced another one. So with the six, we have Slaughter Cinema 2, Goblin's Feast, Major Sweets Candy Factory, The Museum Deadly Exhibits, Monstros, The Monsters of Latin America, and Triplets of Terror. Overall, I think we're looking at a very strong original lineup this year with stuff we're familiar with as well as stuff we don't know about. I think with this original lineup, it's going to cater to a certain type of person. Me, I mean, I'm, I'm the person it's catering to. But no, I mean, I don't think this is going to really fit for everyone. Maybe these houses can surprise and become huge crowd pleasers. I'm sure certain ones like Slaughter Cinema, Monsters, Major Sweets, those are going to be very popular. But I'm curious to see how these ones turn out, what the sort of reception is to these houses. Now, I typically wait to make a hype list until we get all our houses announced. And I still plan on doing that once we get all 10. But I wanted to create a little proto hype list here of all the originals we've gotten thus far. And just to be clear, I am hyped for all of these houses 10 out of 10. I'm super excited to see what all these houses have in store, but I think it would be fun for you guys to get into my mindset and see where I'm at regarding these originals. At number six, we have the Museum Deadly Exhibits. Very curious to see where this one goes, although I think we have the least amount of information on this house than any of the other ones. Number five, we have Goblin's Feast. Very curious to see the vibe here. I'm curious to see the character designs, the locations. Really hoping for a Wicked Growth meets Dueling Dragons kind of feel here. And excited to visit High Fantasy at Halloween Horror Nights again. Number four, we have Monstros, the Monsters of Latin America. I never got to see this house in Hollywood, so this will be my first time encountering these characters. But I 
am curious what they're going to bring over from Hollywood and I hope they do add their own little original spin I'm sure they will because they don't like to just carbon copy houses number three we have triplets of terror I'm honestly super stoked for this house I think this could be our dark horse original for the year the one that comes out of nowhere and completely surprises us I have faith that this house is going to be at least a lot of fun number two we have major sweets candy factory loved sweet revenge at Halloween Hornets 31 hoping for that same vibe to be carried over and number one we have slaughter cinema 2 I'm super stoked for this house this will be my first time visiting the carry drive-in so I'm excited to see what they pay tribute to as well as what they bring to the table for this house sequel so yeah those are just my opinions but I want you to let me know in the comments down below what do you think of our originals for this year what do you think of them what do you think about this rollout I really have had fun making these videos I want to thank you all for watching them they've been doing great on the channel lots of people have been checking them out lots of conversation down in the comments below the live stream I did most recently talking about these houses was a great time stay tuned to the channel I'm going to do more live streams in the future but yeah, just let me know what you think. I've had a whole lot of fun with this rollout. And again, I want to thank you just for being so supportive with the videos in general, but specifically these videos, because it's been a lot making a video every single day for a week. I don't know how Losh did it last August. Anyways, if you like this video, like videos about Halloween Horror Nights and Universal of the past, present, and future, be sure to let me know by leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. It would mean a whole lot to me. It would let me know you like videos like this and want to see me make more of them. Gonna take a break from Halloween Horror Nights for just a few days. I want to check out the Summer Tribute Store and DreamWorks Land, so expect videos on that coming next week. But again, I want to thank y'all for watching this video. I will, of course, see you in the next one. Until then, stay spooky and take care, everybody.